Good morning, my people. Today is July 17th. It's currently 9 a.m. I'm gonna have breakfast. I went to the supermarket called Co-op here in Switzerland and they have these vegan cakes. So that's gonna be my breakfast. We all know that I have cake for breakfast. So but I wanted to sit down and debrief with you. So yesterday I went to see Thames and I also it was also the first time that I went out while on my sober sobriety journey, my people. Let me tell you something. I was quite nervous with um, going like to a concert party mode while, you know, sober. Because it would be the first time that um, I've done that in my adult life. Um, so I want to sit down and tell you all about it. I think first let's address the elephant in the room. Why am I doing this, right? I didn't grow up in a house where people drank or smoked. So it was never something that uh, was normalized to me. Although in Portuguese culture, that's a lot of alcohol consumption and alcohol culture, which is completely fine. And um, I partaken in it, I was having fun. Uh, when I was younger, but now that uh, we are starting to think about building our family and um, like our adult life is kind of getting into places that we want and we have control of that, I didn't want to have a family that would indulge in alcohol regularly and that our kids see adults behave in certain ways. So. I want to lead by example, hence I'm trying to do this. And obviously when uh, one get pregnant, cannot drink, I'm not pregnant yet, but, but you want to, I don't want to stop just because I'm pregnant. You know, I want it to just be part of my lifestyle and that's it. Second reason why I stopped drinking is highly political because I think alcohol has destroyed so many families. Alcohol is destroying a lot of African countries and um, it's that I don't want to be part of the people that support such, um, such brands and such companies that they have several messages and several empowerment of um, like people and whatnot. But then it's, if uh, you are actually, um, when I was in Malawi, I, I would see families and um, they had really little, but then you still had the man or the woman going and spending the remaining of their earnings in drinking. And that was just heartbroken. Of course, the same thing here in Europe, you know, people just complaining about uh, the cost of living and whatnot, but still spending tons of money in drinks and uh, in alcohol. It doesn't make sense to me, you know? So because of that, I thought maybe let me just not. This cake is quite difficult to eat. I mean, actually take a proactive step and stop drinking. Third reason, I think my body just does not like alcohol. I always get, I feel so bad. And in the moment, um, this is sweet. Alcohol kind of like gives me the courage because I am quite um, introverted. And I am um, like, if I feel comfortable, which was the alcohol confidence, you know, used to give me, I would talk with other people, I will engage and whatnot. But then at the next day I would feel like, ugh, why did I do that? And then I would feel kind of icky and have like an out of body experience, feeling like I had exposed myself too much. And I allowed people to just have us like talk to me, people that I wouldn't even talk to or people that don't relate, that we don't have much in common. So it was always, I always feel like, eh, I shouldn't have done that. And I don't want to have such regrets, you know. Yesterday we went to see Thames, it was amazing. So when we got to the festival in Montreux, we got in from the station, went to the riverside, I'm sorry, we got in. They had a stand of uh, 
Captain Jack, uh, Captain Jack, Jack Captain, Captain Black. I don't know. It's a rum company, you know, the brown brand and um, tankery. And they had the alcohol free version of their drinks of the rum and the gin. And they were giving that for free. I got that drink. And then I had a sensational burger. It had too much sauce. I'm not like burgers, but I cannot have burgers in a bun. I don't know how to eat it. And uh, the burger had too much sauce. And caramelized onions, not my thing. But I ate it. And then we went to the concert. When we arrived to the concert, I had a Portuguese beer, alcohol free, called Superbock. So I had Superbock Zero. And then, because it was really hot, I had um, a ginger beer with a lot of ice on it. But the thing that I like about ginger beer is that it has a lot of fizziness, but they were selling the ginger beer like on a bottle. So then they would, they had like a liter and a half bottle, which then they pour in different cups. So after so many openings, you already, you lose the, the fizziness. So it was a bit sad, but nonetheless, the Thames was beautiful. That woman, mm, face card, body, she was just so confident. The voice did not shake at all. All the great musics, we, we listened to some songs from the new album as well. Yeah, she's beautiful. I was so happy. The girls that I went with, such good people. Just excellent people. Because I wasn't drinking, they also didn't drink so nice, right? So we're just like having a good old time. Yeah. So it was quite an exciting day. Mm. Now, because I'm not drinking, I'm looking for like, you know, that I do my kombucha. But my problem with my kombucha is that you know, I had to start my kombucha all over again because Josephine had her. I left her untouched without feeding and without um, using the kombucha for too long. So then the liquid became vinegar. So I had to do it all over again. That's why I'm, I'm like, I need to do this, is that, because goddamn, I need, I like my fizzy drinks. So I cannot wait for Josephine to go back to normal. So I can actually have my kombucha at the end of the day, because I love kombucha. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty much sums it up. I had I had so much fun. It was just what I needed. I love a good girl's moment, you know. It's just uh, oh, girlhood is necessary. So go find yourself your tribe. Let me know what you think, actually. And if you know any good creators in here that uh, have a, a pretty they are sober and make cocktails cocktails direct them to me because i want some inspiration and uh, what i've been doing is just um putting ginger syrup and sparkling water with maybe some herbs i love that because it's so refreshing and it's been too hot for normal water sparkling water has been on top, on repeat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna have the second one and then I think I'm, I will have to make a green tea because this is quite sweet. It's quite sweet in there, but it's delicious. I love cream. <laughs> this is it. It was a good day, my people. I'm having fun. I hope um, to hear your opinion about sobriety and drinking and uh, how do you manage if you just, uh, if you don't even think about it, what are your thoughts? You know, your girl is almost 30. She needs to start making good decisions and building good foundations for her life. I think that's most important. I want to have a really good foundation. And when the time come, and if we decide that, uh, yes, we do want to have a family and make it bigger and whatnot, I want to be ready and I want to be the best version that I can be, you know. All the things that uh, maybe I didn't see when I was younger, I want to try to do a little bit better, but with no judgment at all. I, it's just a, a really personal journey. I'm sharing it with you just because, friend, we are for lifers. We, we <laughs> maybe that sounded bad. We are supposed to be together, okay? I want you to be included as much as possible and uh, as much as I feel conf um, confident about. But either way, I had a pretty good night. I had so much fun. And going out 
last summer, I thought it would be quite cathartic and I would be, I would feel quite anxious about the drinking and I would feel like kind of aside, like miss, I had a fear of missing out on the experience, but I didn't because I had already a really solid group of girls. So we were quite uh, like comfortable with each other, which then I, it didn't make me feel alone. And then because I wasn't drinking, they were not drinking. And we just, uh, girls being happy, having fun. Thames was great. And the festival was quite fun. So that's, that was, yeah, that was it. <laughs> ah, my people, thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video. I hope you liked this more calm video. Of course, um, we're going to go back to our regular program, but I thought that it would be nice for us to sit down and for me to just put you, update you, you know, this is a debrief, our debrief, and um, I'll see you next time. All my love, always.